Hello everyone. Um, as you can tell, I'm outside today. It is beginning of spring. A beautiful day out here in, in the cathedral on the Sunday morning. And you can see in the background just behind me uh, the great, probably an elm tree uh, that's in the cathedral grounds. And the blossoms are starting to come out now and I hope you can see them in the filming. Uh, but also in two or three more weeks it's just going to be a whole mass of green and uh, it will be beautiful as anything uh, and it's just lovely. I can hear birds tweeting in the, in the background as well so it's, a, it's a, just a lovely spring uh, a day uh, on this Sunday. For those of you who can get outside, um, I hope you this time of, of nature's rebirth uh, might also uh, inspire in your own hearts a, a spiritual rebirth as well. You know, there's others of you I know that can't get outside now, but hopefully this, this, this little filming at this moment um, might uh, offer something of a renewal within your own, in your own hearts. Today is Father's Day, so a shout out to all fathers those of you who have fathered children and so on of your own, for those of you who are spiritual fathers, uh, a bit like myself as a spiritual father, as a priest and bishop, uh, but there's spiritual fathers who have not had their own uh, children, but are perhaps a godfather uh, to a godson or daughter uh, who are carers for, uh, for others uh, in, in their lives. So a shout out to all of you, my prayer and blessing to all you fathers. I'll have put on the uh, on this film a, a little a little line about uh, an event that happened uh, about a month ago now. It was a gathering of Catholic men that happened by Zoom, uh, and it was a whole pile of videos taken of that. It was called uh, Australian Catholic Men's Gathering, and its title was taken from the Acts of the Apostles: "Brothers, what must we do?" And I want to encourage you men who perhaps are watching this, uh, this video, but also perhaps wives and uh, children and or whoever, encouraging your fathers to uh, take a chance to look at the videos. They're still available to look at. Uh, and you will have information on the, uh, on the screen for you to be able to uh, go to the website where you can look at all the videos. And I encourage you to do so. A, a bit of nourishment fellows for yourselves, a spiritual nourishment and encouragement and uh, a, a really get up and uh, a sense of hope at this time. This week marks the uh, beginning of the annual Child Protection Week and uh, this is the 30th year now of uh, the Child Protection Week here in Australia and it's a great thing and uh, I encourage you in your own circumstances, whether that's in, in your family circumstances or within your various communities, parish communities or, or school communities, to, um, to raise awareness for the protection and dignity and care of our children and young people. And also to do what you can to um, be uh, yourselves people of great safeguarding for our our young people and that's something certainly one of my tasks as as Archbishop of our diocese to to build good safeguarding practices and a, a, a culture of safeguarding in our archdiocese which we're doing in various ways. It'll be particularly noted next Sunday as, as uh, Child Protection Sunday but I just draw it to your attention now to, um, to encourage you in that regard as well. In that context, um, please keep in your prayer and reach out to anyone you know who might be in, in, in difficulty or in danger, or someone who has been uh, terribly wounded by uh, matters of uh, abuse or uh, neglect and so on. So I please, I'd encourage you in that regard to uh, be a hand of welcome and of care and of tenderness to those who are struggling. And finally today, just to once again encourage you uh, at this time, I'm filming just before the Premier was to announce the uh, framework, so I don't know exactly what's been announced at this stage. Uh, at least when I'm filming, we'll, you'll know by the time you see this. Uh, my hope is that hopefully towards the end of this month uh, of September that we might be able to 
have the opportunity of reopening our churches and, uh, and at least in small numbers being able to gather once again to celebrate this, uh, the sacramental and liturgical life of our, of our faith. But for yourselves in your home situations and in your community situations, to continue to encourage you to find ways of um, being a domestic church, being the church in all its loveliness present in the family home. My blessings to you to the end of this week.